Over the last 15 years, uh, we see tremendous improvement in the water service coverage and uh, people access to services. Um, there's been an improvement from about 27% of rural water coverage in the 1990s to 62% uh, in 2001. In the rural areas, some years back, most people relied on streams or those who could afford had self-supply systems in their homes. In Takwa, where I grew up, I remember there was a whole big place where it was full of boreholes. And on those boreholes were written the names of the owners. So that was where we all went to fetch water from the boreholes. Today, you go to Takwa, and almost all homes now have access to pipe-borne water in their homes. In the villages, most villages that are 5,000 population and above have small town water systems. Those less have either mechanized boreholes or have pipe uh, borehole systems in their homes. Stakeholders in Ghana um, generally agree that we need to sustain water service. If you speak to service providers, if you speak to financiers, the answer that you get from them is that people are not just there to provide infrastructure. The ultimate goal is to provide people with water a reliable service. So there's that general agreement that we need to provide water service. We need to sustain these services. The challenge has been about how we have gone about this. Most stakeholders will tell you from the government side that these agreements broadly are there. However, they are constrained by limited resources. So do we let people have half-level service and reach everybody, use the limited resources to reach the unrich? Or we let few people have full service and others left with no service? I don't think it's neither here nor there. These are big investments that need to be sustained. Not plowing resources into the old systems to make them work and, and also is a loss. Because if you put in an investment that is costing 5 million, which is supposed to technically serve communities for 20 years, and because a pump that cost $500 got broken but was never fixed, and so and a five million investment within two or three years is left to go with is a loss in itself. If we put 500 to get that system working, the money that we would have used in about five years back to go and reconstruct a new facility for that community can be saved to reach more. So it's about how you do the numbers and how you balance your investment in such a way that whatever you have done is sustained so that you are freed to reach the unrich. And that has been our argument. That has been the way we have built the case. It's not about having people with minimum or less standards, but how do you balance your investment to make sure that the little resources are maximized.